Long time no see, Professor Schmidt. And thank you for keeping a watchful eye over my Tita. Mom, why are you here? Why are all of you here? Sorry to drop in, Tita. We were just escorting your mom. And I'm here on a job. A very troublesome job, as it so happens. How so? That can wait. There's something much more important here than work. And that's you, my baby's breath bundle of cuteness. Oh, your mommy has missed you. Mom? And you've only gotten cuter. Oh, I can't believe it. It's a scientific marvel. They gotta have laws against going over cute capacity because I just can't take it. Stop it, Mom! Everyone is watching! Let them. I get to hug and kiss and love on my favorite little girl. My Tita tank's been running on empty for months! Um, <laughs> Professor? Just let her get it out of her system. <laughs> Poor Tita. Please! <laughs> this is so embarrassing! If you're going to fritter away my time, do it where I can't see it. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, my apologies. I sometimes forget that my enthusiasm could give a man with already one foot in his grave a heart attack. <laughs> there you are with that cheek. I would assume you were the child, if I didn't know that was your daughter standing next to you. Why, thank you. My imagination is as rich as a child's. A good thing, too, since my partner now is a senile old fart whose last good idea may have predated our concept of time. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> I can't tell if they hate each other or if this is just their thing. Eh, I'm leaning toward the latter. She's the only engineer I know who can have at it with the professor. Probably because she's gonna be him in 30 years. Unlike her old man who just loves throwing whatever shit he can find together. These two develop tech with specific goals in mind. They also don't mind throwing everyone else under the bus if it means meeting those goals. Hey, Red! I got ears. So, the job? Right. Time to get down to business. 